my name is Leanne. I'm here at Jimmy Beans Bowl, and today I'm talking about yarn construction. I've got a brushed uh, alpaca, which uh, you can also find this construction commonly with like brushed mohair and silk. So like Kid Silk Hayes, Kid Seda, those kind of yarns. Um, the way you make this yarn is you just take a nice brushed uh, fiber, just like roving, and then you wrap it with a binder thread and it lets the fibers kind of hang out like this and do their thing. Uh, but you've also got the stability of that nylon so it holds it together. This yarn is not something I would recommend for beginners because it's really hard to rip back. So if you're knitting something or crocheting something and then you realize you made a mistake and you rip it back, uh, that's like the only time this yarn will break. Otherwise it's, it's very sturdy. That nylon really holds its own. Um, the great thing about yarns like this is you can knit them by themselves and they're very lacy and pretty and they're just lightweight, weightless. Or you can hold it with another yarn for something with a little more substance, but you still get that kind of color. It can add the um, halo to a piece of fabric and also adds a lot of warmth because both mohair and alpaca have very warm fibers. So it's a really good way to get heat without too much weight. So this is... Um, this is the brushed alpaca or brushed mohair. I'm Leanne at Jimmy Beans Wool. Happy knitting and crocheting. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night.